I am Kevin Price. You're watching or listening to The Price of Business. If you're watching, you're checking it out on the Biz TV Network. Or you may be listening it, uh, listening to it on uh, Business Talk 1110 AM, KTK in Houston. Delighted to have a regular contributor on the Price of Business radio program in Houston, Chris Corsell with the Corsell Law Group. And Chris, uh, you've got a really, I think, timely topic. I think whatever kind of vendor you get, uh, you need to spend some serious time vetting that vendor. But if this vendor is an individual who stands between you and your freedom, you really need to spend some time talking about it. Real quickly about, you know, 15, 20 seconds, uh, CorsoLawGroup.com is the website. But, but tell us real quickly about your practice. Yeah, we're a criminal practice. Uh, we started off in Scottsdale, Arizona, which was still there, and then uh, now we're in Houston. So uh, we uh, we like to... We like to help the people, not just the uh, client. So it's a little thing we do uh, to help. Yeah, very good. Talk a little bit about our topic today. This is a very timely topic. We're going to have the, uh, an entire article about it at the sister news site, usdailyreview.com, a little bit about the topic. Yeah, these are some things that you really should know if you're going to hire you know, an attorney, really any attorney but defense attorney, uh, really. And you know, I can go through quick, quick the, Quickly, uh, the yeah, list. Just yeah. give us the overview list, and then you, I'll ask more questions. You know, you have to decide you know, what type of attorney you need, you know, understand what they do. Um, you know, no, they should know the possible outcomes in the case, um, research. You have to do some research, read reviews. Everybody read, review, read uh, reviews today. Um, they have to understand the government side of things. That's, that's pretty important. Um, you know, the experience and prioritize what exactly you need. And most importantly, I think find one that cares about what happens to you and your family. Mm-hmm. They want to, they, they're interested in the outcome. Yeah, absolutely. You yeah. Know, and, uh, they, they do, they have to care. Can't help people if you don't care. That's exactly right. Talk a little bit about, uh, you know, the research. Where, where should one begin their research? A lot of people will go online now. Everything's online. So, you know, they'll go on the Internet. They'll do a search, um, you know, a product search, basically like anything else. And they'll do some uh, reviews. They'll take a look at reviews. And there's people that are putting things up that are, that are pretty, uh, pretty relevant and pretty important. You made a really good point about the fact, you know, what kind of attorney you want. I want a defense attorney. Yeah, but is this a you know uh, embezzlement case or is this a you know a, what kind of case are you are you defending? It would be different. You know what kind of attorney you got could have to do with what kind of defense you need. Correct? Sure. Yeah. I mean, you have a DWI. You you primarily want an attorney that deals with that. I mean, you, a criminal attorney can range across the board. Right. You know, as you say, you know, embezzlement and white collar crimes like that. Well, they're not going to know what to do. Most times in court, absolutely not. And vice versa. A yeah, DWI exactly. attorney on embezzlement. That's right. Yeah. And so you need to be really, really selective you know, on that, on that process. And so uh, you're probably a pretty big advocate that, uh, that you, know, you need to get people that are being pretty specific about what they'll do. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I am because these are people's lives you're dealing with. Okay, so you can't stop and learn things while you're trying to help them and trying to get into court and make arguments for them, you know, and, and you present yourself to the government or present your client to the government, which is the, the most important thing here. So you can't take the time to just learn things on the fly. Yeah. So uh, talk about some of the big mistakes that you think people make in choosing an attorney. One that I would think was I play golf with the guy. Or, you know, we hang out at the bar together or whatever. You know, this idea that just because there's a familiarity or relationship there that he's necessarily going to be a good attorney. But, but what are some of the other things that you see? Yeah, I think, you know, and a lot of times it's not so much that. It's, you know, when they go online, they're more mostly looking at the aesthetics of the website. How does it look? You know, it looks great. There's a lot of good pictures and things like that. Well, you want to read. You want to take a look. And a lot of mistakes people make are going with the fancy uh fancy website and that's that's all over substance yeah absolutely and and um you know not really paying attention to who the attorney is some of the other mistakes are you know solo practitioner somebody on their own it's good to have a full staff yeah things like that chris corso he's a regular contributor on the price of business radio show and uh also has helped us with articles at huffington post and uh, writes a regular column over at usdailyreview.com the information about this topic will be found over at usdailyreview.com make sure you check that out but also check out his website, Corso Law Group. Good seeing you, Chris. Kevin, thank you. When we come back, more for you. I do want to remind you, the show continues 24-7 at priceofbusiness.com.